reciting the Quran. Reciting the Quran. Reciting the Quran. Reciting the Quran. What the hell? This is coming from Quran. ओ तो आड़िया तो आड़िया तो मुता कर दिया ने तो आड़िया तो मुता कर दिया ने Everything is from their Quran and Hadith. Whatever, whatever your Quran is telling me. Have you seen Allah shape? If you haven't seen Allah shape, how will you find out? How will you how will you find out? Then Allah is coming in a different shape. See, all these words are coming from Quran. Yes. So, ladies and gentlemen, come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. Come to Jesus. Allah cannot be a true God. Muhammad is a false prophet. Why do I say this? You need to eat less. Why do I say that Muhammad is a false prophet? Jesus, don't eat too much. Why do I say Muhammad is a false prophet? Because Quran says whoever brings the false revelation is a false prophet. Look, Muhammad received satanic verses. Muhammad received satanic verses, therefore that proves that Muhammad is a false prophet. According to Quran, not according to me. Not according to me. According to Quran, Quran proves that Muhammad is a false prophet. Quran proves that Allah is an idol. Not God. Not God. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is Yahweh God. Yahweh God. So you you need that Yahweh God. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You need that God. Your daughter became Muslim. You need, you need that God. You need that God. You need that God. Oh, he, he is reading. He is reciting the Quran now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Reciting the Quran. Reciting the Quran. Yeah. Reciting the Quran. <laughs> Reciting the Quran. <laughs> Reciting the Quran. Reciting the Quran. What? What the hell? Are, why did you touch me? Come on. Reciting the Quran. You are reciting the Quran. He is reciting the Quran. He is reciting the Quran. Come on. Come on. Reciting the Quran. And reciting the Quran. Reciting the Quran. Reciting the Quran. Oh, he is reciting the Quran. Come on. Oh, reciting the Quran. Oh, reciting the Quran. Oh, reciting the Quran. You are reciting the Quran. Come on. Come on. Come on. He is he is reciting the Quran. He is reciting the Quran. Come on. Come on. This is from Quran. This is coming from Quran. This is coming from Quran. Oh, to adiga, to adiga the muta karan diya ne, to adiga the muta kar diya ne. Learn. He is he is reading Quran. He is reading Quran. He is reading Quran. Come on. Come on. Why are you touching me? Uncle, stop, man. Stop. Come on. He is reading the Quran. He is reading the Quran in, in, in Urdu language. Reading the Quran in Urdu language. He is reading the Quran in Urdu language. 
محمد از افاس پرافت محمد از افاس پرافت اکارنگ تو قرآن این حلیل and come to Jesus Jesus is the only way the truth and the life Jesus is the only way the truth and the life come to Jesus Jesus is the only only salvation you cannot be saved by following pagan Allah you cannot be saved by following a false prophet you cannot you cannot go in paradise by following Muhammad who is a dead who is a dead and Jesus is a living and Jesus is coming again Jesus is coming again Jesus is coming again, therefore you need that Jesus. I want him to understand my word. He is reading Quran, he is reading Quran in Urdu language, in Punjabi, Punjabi language. What I was saying, I was saying that according to Quran and Hadith, Muhammad is a false prophet. Why do I say this? Why do I say this? That Muhammad is a false prophet. Because Quran clearly says whoever brings the false revelation is a false prophet. Look, Muhammad brought satanic verses. Muhammad brought satanic verses. Therefore, that proves that, proves that Muhammad is a false prophet. And Quran and Hadith prove that Allah is a pagan God. Therefore, Allah cannot be a God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Perfect. Allah cannot be a God of Abraham and, and Isaac and Jacob. So you, Muslim, you need that God who is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You're not preaching the cross. Preach the cross. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, well, about uh, time he did. The, <laughs> the, Jesus, the Jesus is on the cross. He rose. From yeah, he rose from the dead. Amen. Amen. He rose from the dead. Yes, he rose from the dead. talk about everything but the cross. Now, the most that's, message that's the the that's the final dead. final they that's the final the revelation for us the that's the final revelation for us yes. and that's the huh? that's the begin beginning and uh, the end stuff. you're talking about everything and anything get back to the cross yes cross back to the cross There's cross the is the only only way only way for our salvation, for salvation. No cross in Islam. Why? Because they're scared stiff to preach the cross. I'll tell you why. So even though, even though Muslim, Muslims, they abuse me for nothing, for nothing, yeah? Yes. For nothing, they abuse me for nothing because everything which I say, I say it from their sources, from their books, from their hadith, from their Quran. There is nothing which I am bringing from my own. Everything is from their Quran and hadith. Whatever, whatever your Quran is telling me. Am I a liar? Come, come and let's 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 have a let's have a discussion here. Come on, let's have a discussion here. When 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 your Quran says that Muhammad is a false prophet, I'm saying the same. I'm saying the same thing because Quran proves that. Quran says that. Quran tells me that that Muhammad received satanic verses.
It is not. Huh? What chapter? Chapter 53. Verse 19 onward. Quran clearly says that Allah had three daughters. Lat, Munat, and Uzak. Three daughters. I'm not making from my own. I'm telling what is written in the Quran. So, therefore, come to Jesus. Jesus is the only. Huh? Surah 53, verse 19 onward. It says, Allah has three daughters, Lat, Munat, and Uzad. Three yeah, three daughters. Yeah, for Allah. Allah. Yeah? Not in the Quran? Have you read it? Come on, read it again then. He's gonna rip you. Why would he give it? He's not gonna rip it. 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 Don't rip it, yeah, Asif. He's not gonna rip it, bro. He's not gonna rip it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right, how are you? I'm good, man. Okay, yeah. Oh, sorry, choices. Okay, what is it? He said 53. 53. Surah 53 verse 19. Oh my days, you put a dent in this. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it nice, man. Uh, I'm sorry, sorry. No, you're good. You said 50 what? Surah 53. And which one? 53. And yeah. which one? It's 50, not 53. 50. Yeah, this is it. Is it? Surah 53 verse 19, 19, 20 and 21. Okay. Read it out loud, please. What, 53 and 19? Yeah. It says, have you fought upon Al huh? Alat and Al Uzzah and Manat the third, the other? Yeah. Are yours the males and his the females? Who is uh, who is telling this? Who, I have no idea. who is speaking? This, this is from, who is speaking here? I have no idea. Have to, have the whole the whole Quran is written by who? By uh, by Allah, isn't it? I have no. I, according I have no according idea. to Muslim, according to Muslim, the Quran is given by who? Allah. Allah. Huh? The word of Allah. Yeah. Huh? Allah. Allah. It's given by Allah. Yeah. And what is whatever is written in this is uh, authority. authority for Muslim, yeah? I don't know English very well. What is it? I don't know English very well. You don't know English very well? Okay. Which language? Uh, Arabic. Arabic. Okay. So you, you know how to read Arabic? Yeah. Yeah? Come on, open your Quran and read it. And you translate for us. Huh? Surah al Surah 53. I think 23 is different translation here. Because here it says these idols, and I'm reading it in Arabic. Yeah. And it says that those three, those three names are idols. Yeah. You have made up. So basically yeah. they're saying that yeah. you shouldn't follow these idols. Yeah. Who is, who's, uh, who's talking? And uh, who is talking to? Who is talking and who is talking you know what, to? He's talking about idols, though. Yeah, yeah. He's saying yeah. idols. I read it in Arabic. This translation, I don't think it's good. Yeah. I read it in Arabic. It says, like, it mentioned those three names. Yeah. Um, in the context that you were uh, worshipping those, but you shouldn't, because they're idols. This, oh, okay. So if you read the following so, yeah. uh, so verses, who, who is it saying this? tells you that you so shouldn't. Who is saying? Who is saying? That they said that God have three daughters and that is wrong, like that. Yes, exactly. It will so it's almost like I this think, is uh, how you do I it. I think uh, you are missing. You are missing the point no, because he just showed me, and that's, that's what it says. Yeah. What is it? Those are idols. Yes. Those are idols. Oh yeah. This is this is, like this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. So he's saying this is those, those are idols. idols, and you should not worship them because they're not from me. So they're made up. Yeah. Do you have an apple? 
انا ما اعرف كمل هذاك في هير از هير از وات هير از وات از تيلينج مي What does it say? I'm just going to read it in Arabic, but it doesn't say it. Ma an Rasul wa Nabi illa iza tabanna aqa shaytan fi umiyatri min saqlahu ma yad. There's like an English phrase on top of the Arabic. Yeah, okay. So I cannot see it properly, I don't know. So there's the Christian Ma an and then something missing Rasul wa Nabi. Yeah. So I don't so, know where you're taking so, this from, but uh, even no. this translation that you read, I don't think it's accurate because it's very mild when it comes to. Yeah, 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 I noticed. Yeah. So actually, I, actually, I translation. here it says Lat and Uzat. Is that this way? Yeah, okay. That's it. There you go. That much okay, it's better. Ma and. I can't see this. You need to change it. Oh. Read it in English then. Um, I don't want to trust it. I don't trust that. But well, you trust uh, But that when he recited the scripture, Satan cast into his race citation. What is? Which verse is it? I'm, I'll find it. Huh? Which verse is it? It's uh, 53. 53. Uh, so, so scholar is uh, explaining this surah 53. Scholar is, is explaining this uh, surah 53. Surah 53. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, Hey, where's the... I'm looking for uh, uh, Dr. Bandy, you know, where is he? No, but here is he. Yeah. Which one? Uh, can I talk about 16 or 20? It's about the... See, Surah 53. The Messenger of Allah, Allah bless him and give him peace, uh, recited it, but when he... Uh, uh, read it. Have you uh, thought upon Alat and Al Uzad and Manat, the yes. third and the other? So, Surah 53, verse 20. Eh? Yeah, so it says, The devil put on the tongue what Again, he had this is what uh, secretly wished. Okay. So, so basically, basically, Shaitan came and put on Muhammad's tongue whatever he was desiring, whatever he was. Uh, no, I think it's just. So, you're referring to this one. Now, have you considered the idols of Lat and Uzzah? Yeah, 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 that's right. And the third one, Mannat as well. Yeah. So you read again, and it says, "These idols are mere names, and that you and your." forefathers have made up so this is saying that yes. these are not true gods and these ah. are all man so, made so who, who was who was worshiping uh, uh, these and idols then it says a practice allah has has never authorized mm -hmm. they follow nothing but inherited assumptions yeah. whatever their souls desire although true guidance has already come to them from their lord yeah. so uh, read it uh, read it here it I says, don't know where you got when, the, when the I mean, Quraysh, when the Quraysh. <laughs> I read the Arabic, when the Quraysh. I read the Arabic verse, and I read the translation here. Sahih. And, and these like match. It's from Sahih Muslim. Sahih Muslim. Okay. Okay. I no. I see the Arabic When verse. the Quraysh heard Even Even the this. Quran that you who did. Was, who was did Quraysh? You the Quran or, uh, who was Quraysh? Okay. Who was Quraysh? Who was Quraysh? It's Quraysh not from Mecca. Huh? Yeah. People from Mecca. People from Mecca. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. All right. What do you show me? It says, yeah. when the Quraysh heard this, they were very pleased. Where did you get your... The messenger of Allah, Allah bless him and give him peace, uh, carried on reciting. Yeah? Until the end of the surah. Until the end of Surah, yeah, and the uh, uh, and then prostrated, yeah. So, so he 
he prostrated with Christ. I take this as an evidence because this Christ. is from a Christian side. Oh. This is high, highly influenced. Om, Sahih Muslim is a Christian? Arabic, Arabic verse. Where's the verse that he says that sings in Muhammad's, uh, Muhammad's tongue? Which, which, which verse is that? This is the explanation of uh, uh, those three verses. Their scholar is uh, explaining this say in Sahih Muslim. Sure, can I just... Yeah, 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 sure. I, I ain't gonna do that with you. No problem, no problem. So, so when Muhammad and his followers, they, they bow down and worship uh, those three daughters of uh, Allah, and also, also Muhammad and his followers, they said, their intercession is must for us. Yeah. Um, Baba, so you're Muslim, right? Yeah. yeah. How, if I if I said that worshiping the the Kaaba stone is idolatry, what would you, what would you respond to that? Uh, worshiping the Kaaba stone is idolatry. I think it is. Yeah. Kaaba, yeah. It's idolatry. Yeah. So what do you do? What do you say about this, and what do you do about it in regards to your fellow Muslims? Because one big thing, you know, that you guys, you know, like have a lot of pride in is that you're monotheistic and you're free of idols. Yeah. So if your whole religion is centered around praying towards an idol, how do you how do you go about explaining it? Uh, I think it's simple, but um, you're praying directly to God, so you're not like you don't have an intermediary. I think it's just customs. It's not, customs. Yeah. To me, so since, if your whole religion is formed around that custom, which is yeah. problematic. Yeah, yeah. But that doesn't Thank contradict the religion itself. But because I mean, mm -hmm. if, if you think about it, all religions were influenced by the culture and tradition that they were uh, brought up in. So yeah. Christianity had the same, Jew uh, Judaism had the same, Islam had the same. So for me, there was some influence, uh, but the whole concept of religion is just like uh, you, you pray for one God. And right, but obviously. I can have a demon, I can know a demon and call him God and say I'm going to worship him. You know what I'm saying? So just because you believe in one God doesn't necessarily mean that's the right, the true God that you're worshipping. It could be another false God, you know what I'm saying, that wants you to worship an idol. You know what I mean? So So how do you define worshipping an idol? Anything made with the, the anything that man's hands make. Yeah. That cra and yeah. they craft it and beautify it and you pray towards it and bow down to that. Then that's an idol. Yeah. Because that 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 detracts away <laughs> from your worship against God. Because God mm. said that, especially in the in the in the old covenant in the in the Mosaic law, which you believe in, that we should not worship the stars, the moon, anything made under the, um, the heavens, yeah. and have no idols. That's that's part of the commandment. That's actually the second commandment. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Not to worship any graven images. I mean, images. there is a point in what you you're talking about, mm. uh, in the sense that you're correlating the fact that Mecca is really similar to an idol. Uh, but for me, it's just a tradition. It doesn't mean anything, as long as you have a connection. Because in Islam, your connection is directly with God, so no one interferes. It's not like mm -hmm. Catholics or Orthodox, where you have the church in between, and the church uh -huh. can pardon you, and then can guarantee can I, can you go, going to heaven and so on. Can I say something? Yeah. Since, uh, since you, Muslim, yeah. you believe uh, that uh, this Kaaba, this Makkah, and Kaaba is, uh, is built. Hello, how are you? God bless you. Thank you. Yeah. It's, uh, it's built by Ishmael and Abraham. All Muslims, they be believe this. Yeah? I don't know. <coughs> to be honest, I'm not that detail. You don't know. Not detail. You haven't heard of it? Probably, yes. I you know. have heard it? Yeah. Because, yeah. because uh, according to Muslim belief, mm -hmm. according to Muslim belief, Abraham and Ishmael, sure. they built Kaaba. Yeah. And before Muhammad, before Muhammad, all Quraysh, they were idol worshippers. Mm -hmm. Idol worshippers, yeah? So, to my understanding, or maybe maybe you also understand this that uh, Abraham and Ishmael they were idol worshippers as well because they handed over this Kaaba to to crash crash mm -hmm. and, and 
I mean, same, uh, sorry, sorry. So same tradition, same ritual, same practice yeah. is carried on in a salam today, at present. So that mean, yeah, so that basically mean that Abraham and Ishmael were idol worshippers. If that's supposed to be true. So that's the that's the issue we have uh, with so Muslims all the, the Kaaba time. Is the worship? Is a it's a center of worship. Could you pray towards the Kaaba? Yeah, and you're, like and, Catholics and pray toward, I think, Jerusalem, okay, isn't it? Okay, so, so, think so, so Jerusalem, so, Bethlehem is also an idol? Okay, so that's not that's not written anywhere in the Bible. I think the, regardless, the, uh, regardless if they believe that or not, it's not written anywhere in the Bible, do you know what I'm saying? But the Islam is founded upon the five pillars, yeah? And if one of them is to say you have to go to your pilgrimage... If you can. If you can, yeah. but you should. And if you can, do it. And if yeah. you don't, then... You might play your conscience if you're going to enter into heaven or hell. You're supposed to go to the Kaaba and do your worship centered towards that. So, yeah, if you are a follower uh, of a five pillar, follower of five pillars see it as an idol. of Islam, it's different. So, an idol is when you have like a statue and then you pray to it. It's like Catholics when they touch something. Yeah. So, you pray towards the Kaaba and you kiss it. But the, the stone, of the the stone takes the away religion. their sins as well. Right. Do you know that? The stone take, takes I, away I don't, your sins. I don't see a relationship. I mean, I see it as a tradition more than an idol. So, because, okay. like, the Kaaba was destroyed before during the Islamic history. Right. And then it was rebuilt again, and then it was destroyed, and <laughs> it was rebuilt again. It's not an idol. Right. But currently now, So it's, it's not something like if it was destroyed, it's like, oh my God, my God was destroyed. Mm -hmm. This is the difference between but an it's idol set up, and But it's, it's being set up again because that is your God. No, no, definitely not. Because that's what takes away your sins and that's what you pray towards. No, no, no. no. That's it's that, God that takes our sins. Allah lives in the house. It's just a tradition. That's not Allah leaving the house. Yeah. yeah. That, that's not Allah leaving no, the no, house. No, yeah. That's the true. That's true. That's yeah. the because uh, because no, 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 the sins will be forgiven. Yes. The sins will be forgiven by that, that, that black stone. To, but I personally, I don't believe you know that. Yeah. yeah. You don't know anyone you that know believes this. that. You know this or not? I believe what? That Allah lives in there? Well, Allah lives in there? No, no. Yeah, I haven't heard about that one. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, thank you. Hey, oh, so, so Allah, Allah lives, no, Allah Austin, lives in black stone. Austin. Allah lives in Kaaba. Allah lives in uh, Kaaba. Therefore, they kiss that black stone. They, they worship that black stone. And also, they believe. They all believe. All believe that. Uh, no, basically, um. No. Okay, so then so you are not going to do it. You are not going to do it. You are You are not You are not going to do it. You are not going to do it. You You are You not You You are not going to do it. You You don't tell me your rules. If you come to speak, stay away. Don't touch me. Don't Your bag is open. Your bag is open. You have to, you have to close your bag. It's yeah. open at the top. He's a thief. Yeah. He's a thief. Stay away. Stay away. Hey, and uh, don't touch uh, anybody. Hey, don't touch he wasn't me. You can touch you can, me. You touch me. You touch me. No, in, in camera, can, uh, in camera, he's trying to say, don't touch bark. anybody. You can bark uh, as much as you want. <laughs> don't touch anybody. Um, to be honest, it wasn't even much of a conversation, so I can't even really wrap it up. So yeah, what was like? What was, what was the point that he was trying to drive? Um, yeah, I basically start off by asking him um, if he believes that worship of the of the Kaaba stone is idolatry. Yes, and, they um, do He yeah. said that he doesn't think it's idolatry, yeah. but you know everything points towards that being idolatry um, of them. You know, determining that they have to go on a pilgrimage to the Kaaba stone. Yeah. They have to circle around the Kaaba stone. When they kiss the Kaaba yeah. stone, they believe that takes their sins away. Mm. So that's an idol in any way that you want to um, cut it. So um, if you believe in the Torah. If you believe in the um, in the prophets, they spoke against um, idolatry. Yes. The first and second commandment is against idolatry. Yeah. No graven images. Yeah. And we're not supposed to create any um, likeness after anything that's in the heavens or in the waters beneath what that's on the earth um, to bow down and, and, and to kiss it. So um, take images and take them as gods. And yeah. take them as gods. Yeah. Um, so he he also mentioned how it was destroyed, but the the the, the threat that it was rebuilt shows how central the Kaaba stone is to the Islamic faith and that it is 100% um, is about idolatry because if there's no Kaaba stone, there's no Islam. So, um, 
Was he a shooter, you reckon? I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure. But I wanted to talk to him more, but he just left. Yeah, yeah, no but, um, mm. but yeah, that was, uh, yeah, no, he just kind of evaded the question and kind of went off, but that's okay. I hope he can go home and actually reflect on it and think about the, you know, you know, the foundation of his religion. If it is based, based on idolatry, he has to leave it alone. So, um, yeah, that's basically it. Yeah. Nice, cool. Let me pass it Thank you. Any, any other final words, Angola? The final words uh, are uh, that uh, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is a true God. So we invite uh, all Muslim, all Muslim, to follow the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Don't go to worship uh, idol of Mecca idol of Kaaba and uh, don't worship uh, what, what Allah Allah you need uh, a loving you need a loving and a living God loving and living God the God who can come on earth any time he wants the God who can come any way he wants any way he wants he, he can come on earth any time he wants. Yeah. So, so you need you need that God. You don't you don't need an idol God. You don't need you don't need a false God. You need a living God. You need a loving God. Loving Allah. and living God. Allah. <laughs> so, now you are talking according to according to Quran, you were abusing. Allah is no. not a loving. Yeah, he is. Allah he is. is not a loving. Yes, he's more merciful. Allah is not a loving. You are shaitan. Only Jesus. One God is one God. And is Christ, and translated Christ. We believe. Yahweh is the loving and living God. We don't believe in God. Yeah. Right Only. Because he's a man. How can a huh? God die in a cross? Explain that. Oh. We believe in Jesus. We believe he's translated Christ. We when, believe he's, 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 he's when, the messenger. When Hadith says, yeah, when Hadith says, says saying that, that God, Allah God, is God, coming God, in a one. in a different shape, <laughs> which uh, Muslim knows, <laughs> which Muslim knows, and which Muslim have Almost seen, in our book. Research, and Muslim have seen. Book. Have you seen Allah Allah's shape? Have you seen Allah's shape? If you haven't seen Allah's shape, how will you find out? How will you, how will you find out when Allah is coming in a different shape? God, the Creator Allah, will see me. When Allah, when Allah is coming in a different shape, how will you find out? When Allah is a if we going Allah, to we'll uncover die. his shame. We'll die. Yeah. When Allah is going to uncover his shame, how will you recognize him? How will you recognize Allah? How will you recognize Allah by his shame? By his shame. How will you recognize Allah? You'll be crazy like a rhino. If you have, if you have not seen Allah and his face, then you cannot recognize Allah by its shin. God will, Allah will question you in the hereafter. Allah will, Allah is giving you a good Allah is coming in a different shape. Allah's if icon you is a legend. are not Allah's aware of that Allah, Allah and Allah is going to uncover his chain, you are failed to see him, to know him, uh, to understand you about him. You're the question that you saying that you don't believe in Allah. Therefore, you therefore we Christians, we Christians believe garbage, that we have known our God. We've got no protection. We you have known our God. Garbage. And eventually, we have seen our God and we can recognize our God. We can recognize our God because our God 
comes on earth any time he was any way he was but allah is fail allah is fail to allah, allah is fail so you need you need a god who can come on earth you need god who came in the burning bush you need that god you need that god who came in the burning bush no 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 you need that god who came on the mountain to give 10 commandment you need that god don't follow false prophet muhammad and don't don't worship pagan allah